Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Learning Biology with Dr. Vanessa, where we take difficult biological concepts and make them easy to understand. We all know that we have different voices when we talk. We know that we can also change our voices when we talk as well. But have you ever taken a moment to think about how your voice actually works? Whether you're singing, speaking, or even whispering, your voice is an intricate system that combines biology, physics, and personal expression. In this video, we'll take a detailed look at the anatomy and mechanics behind voice production, exploring how breath, vocal folds, and resonance shape the sound we produce. Let's start with the basics. The production of your voice begins with the respiratory system. When you inhale, your lungs fill with air, and when you exhale, that air is pushed up through the trachea. The trachea allows the air to travel into the lungs and then back out of the body. If we take a closer look at the trachea or windpipe, we will see that there is another structure called the larynx that sits on top of the trachea. The larynx is also known as the voice box. The wall of the larynx is composed of nine pieces of cartilage. Three occur singly, the thyroid cartilage, the epiglottic cartilage, and the cricoid cartilage. And three of them are going to occur in pairs. The three cartilages that occur in pairs are the arytenoid cartilages, the corniculate cartilage, and the cuneiform cartilage. This means that there is one pair on each side of the larynx. The arytenoid cartilages are the most important as they are responsible for influencing the changes in position and tension of the vocal cords. If we were to look down inside the larynx using a camera called a laryngoscope, we would see that the mucous membranes of the larynx form two pairs of folds, the vestibular folds, which are the false vocal cords, and the vocal folds, which are the true vocal cords. Now the true vocal cords are going to be in the area where air is going to pass through them. Now, though the vestibular folds do not play a direct role in voice production, they do help protect the vocal folds and keep the larynx hydrated. They also assist in closure. Here would be open, here would be the closure. They also assist in closure by compressing together during activities like swallowing, coughing, and heavy lifting, helping to protect the airway and support the increased pressure in the thorax. The vocal folds are the main structure of voice production. These vocal folds vibrate as air passes through them, creating sound waves. Their movement is controlled by small intrinsic muscles of the larynx, which adjust their tension by acting on the surrounding cartilages, specifically those arytenoid cartilages. When these muscles contract or relax, they change the length and stiffness of the vocal folds influencing pitch and volume of your voice. As air is pushed through the larynx, the folds come together and vibrate, producing sound that is then shaped by the vocal tract into speech or song. The pitch of your voice depends on the tension and length of these folds. If the muscles pull them taut, they vibrate more rapidly, which makes the pitch higher. Less muscular tension on the vocal folds will cause them to vibrate more slowly, producing lower pitch sounds. The thickness of the vocal folds also plays a role. Men typically have thicker and longer vocal folds due to the male sex hormone androgen, which results in deeper voices, while women generally have thinner and shorter folds producing higher pitches. Though sound originates from the vocal folds as we just discussed, there are other structures that are necessary to convert the sound into recognizable speech. Your pharynx, mouth, and even your nasal cavity all act as resonating chambers. This resonance helps shape the tone of your voice. Ever noticed how your voice sounds different when you have a cold? That's because your nasal passages are blocked 
changing how sound resonates. And finally, there's articulation. Your muscles in your tongue, face, and lips work together to form distinct sounds. This is how we turn raw sound into clear speech. Try saying banana while holding your tongue still. You'll notice how important articulation is. How about whispering? When you whisper, your vocal folds remain partially open, allowing air to pass through without vibrating. Since the vocal folds do not vibrate when you whisper, there is no pitch to this type of speech. Whispering creates turbulent airflow, which generates the characteristic hissy quality. Because this process requires more breath support and can lead to muscle tension, excessive whispering may contribute to vocal fatigue or strain. Your voice is delicate, so take care of it. Stay hydrated, avoid excessive throat clearing, and rest your voice when needed. One common condition that affects the voice is laryngitis. Inflammation of the larynx occurs when the vocal cords become inflamed, usually due to overuse, infection, or irritation. This inflammation prevents the vocal folds from vibrating properly, leading to hoarseness or even complete loss of voice. Acute laryngitis is often caused by viral infections, similar to those that cause the common cold and goes away within a few days. However, chronic laryngitis can result from prolonged vocal strain, exposure to irritants like smoke, acid reflux, or chronic sinus infections, and this type of laryngitis can stay around a lot longer. If you experience laryngitis, the best thing you can do is rest your voice. Speak softly, but avoid whispering as it can strain your vocal cords even more. Stay hydrated, use a humidifier to keep your throat moist, and avoid irritants like caffeine and alcohol. Your voice is one of your most powerful tools. Whether you're a teacher, a singer, or just someone who loves to talk, understanding how your voice works can help you use it more effectively. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and make sure to subscribe so that you never miss out on a new video. Also, if you have any questions, please be sure to drop them in the comment box below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.